In this video, I am not going to ask you to subscribe my channel, but uh, we are going to book. Uh, the recently Microsoft added a new exciting feature that is uh, filters. So how you can use that filter feature and uh, what is the use use case, right? So that filter feature is available when you go to the Intune portal and when you go to the tenant administrator and there is a filter. Where is that? Right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here is the filter. So what is the use of this filter? So basically when you create a, for example, I'll show you example if I have any policy created. Perfect. No policy. Uh, let me see here. Update. Yeah. So I have a policy windows update policy here. I created and then you see I have assigned this policy to everyone, right? Uh, all devices. Now, just for example, uh, if you, uh, if there is a production team or any uh, management group, you have, you know, organization and those devices you don't want to patch or uh, you are doing some, uh, so some anything is critical application is running and you don't want to uh, patch those applications or I, you don't want to patch uh, those devices. So how you're going to do? So you basically, what you are going to do is basically you will create another security group and you will add those devices as a member of that security group and then that security group you will assign here as excluded group, right? So that way, right? And if there is another uh, group is there that you don't want to, again, you don't want to patch or you want to make uh, exclusion because of the, the testing, you know? So just for the testing. So you, what you are going to do, you are going to create another security group and uh, you're, again, you are going to add this exclusion group here okay so that way and if any member of that excluded group you want to patch again one device so what you are going to do you are going to remove and uh, that device will be patched so it's basically th there is no uh, flexibility or uh, you cannot assign this app this this policy to particular group or you can cannot exclude any group when this device this policy is applied to all devices right so there is no granularity right and uh, there is no flexibility that how you can exclude so there is an option right so there is an option you can edit the filter and you can have a create a filter where okay you can make a decision okay uh, even though this policy is applied to all devices, but I don't want to apply this this policy to this particular uh, devices. And that time this filter feature comes in a picture. So you don't want to, you will not create any security group, any device group. You will just create a filter and that policy will exclude those devices from this policy, even though this policy is applied to all devices. So this is the beauty and the and another it solves the problem that you don't have to maintain or manage the all the security groups that you created for the managing this intune environment right so you you create a lot of security groups uh, because there is a requirement sometimes a uh, few users or few devices need a uh, google chrome some needs adobe, adobe acrobat reader or uh, acrobat 2017 this 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 another applications only the specific users needs and it, it becomes very hectic uh, to maintain or manage those things uh, because of the there is no flexibility so every time what we need to create is a security group uh, based on the requirement and that's how uh, we are using it but now if you are using this filter it, it your work is become very easy and even you are a, as an IT administrator if you want to test uh, any device or exclude any device like for example for example you have an application policy that is uh, when any application is uh, you used like this windows office application and you want to exclude one user uh, one device from this so it's it's uh, you have to create a one policy again right so but you can create a one security group and uh, so not a security group you can create a filter and you can exclude that uh, from that policy and 
you can create another policy where uh, you want uh, office enterprise application or the office for business application you want to install for that user you can use that filter same filter to install the application on that particular user and it will and you end up not creating any security group in those things right so it's for it administrator is also good when you when we attest any particular application to particular user or a particular department so we can just have a we can create this filter as per our requirement and uh, make include include and exclude a uh, combination and uh, get uh, work done immediately so i will without wasting further time i will show you how you can create a filter so basically you need to go here in again tenant administrator and then there is a filter and there is a two types of filters you can create is a managed device and managed app managed app filter is basically ios and android devices you can create i will i will show you that when it is required uh, when we start a, a mobile application enrollment and management thing right now as a part of uh, like as as a scope of this video uh, we will concentrate on managed devices so i'm creating uh, first filter okay perfect first filter policy i always have a headache when want to put some name okay next okay forget okay so now we are targeting this windows 10 and later but you also create a filter based on this uh, types okay right now we are going with the windows 10 and later and next before that i will just show you what i have in my test environment i have only only one virtual machine that is not on that's why it's showing it's non-compliant and this device is not on almost for a month and uh, yeah so this is a virtual machine and you can go to the property sorry you can go to the hardware and you will see this is a virtual machine and these are the properties we have so this is useful when you create a uh, any filter okay so i am going to create a filter based on the property i want a filter so these are the options we have right now okay so how you like a if you know the device name for example i have a device name here uh, that is this desktop and this particular device i want to test and i want to exclude from the uh, office application so what i'm going to do is i am going to say device name operation is equal equals this right and based on this you can see the preview and what are the users what what device is going to affect with this filter so you will see this and uh, also you can i guess there is a model also there option i will see mm, yeah model is equal to virtual machine and i will see the preview and you will see the same machine is coming right so i can target all the virtual machines machines that in my organization uh, to make action or install any application or restart or the have a different schedule patching schedule or i can exclude this virtual machines group from the uh, from what from my existing policy right <laughs> all right so i am creating next and that's all i have my first filter policy created this policy is created now i'll go to the apps and i'll select the all apps let me see i have this and i'll go to the properties and i will see this is included all devices now this is the tricky part okay when you see see it's a include all devices so this policy is basically applied to all devices but i want to filter and i don't want uh, any virtual machine uh, have this windows uh, microsoft 365 application okay so what i'm going to do is i will add and i will select the exclude and the policy i will see this okay this is the policy i want to exclude the filter device in assignment and i will just click exclude and done so i have excluded this device from that policy and when you go to here 
so it's uh, basically already it's installed this this uh, when when i created this uh, machine and that time this policy was there and i installed that application on that machine so that's the reason it is already showing the install but i will, I will refresh 